What's going on guys, we're back with a brand new video and today we have a ton to talk about regarding Andrew Wiggins and what the heck is going on with him. So I'm sure a lot of you guys know Andrew Wiggins has not got the COVID vaccine, which I'm not saying that's good or bad. I'm just saying the NBA would like players to get the COVID vaccine and a majority of NBA players have it. And uh, I believe if you don't have it, then there's a couple of restrictions or at least there was last year and they might have gotten rid of that. I know for the players that the players don't have to wear masks or anything or something like that and coaches and other staff do and staff and stuff they do have to get the vaccine um but andrew wiggins hasn't gotten it and it seems like he really doesn't want to get it which like i said not trying to put my opinion anywhere i'm not going to say that's good or bad um but he even tried to call the nba and say he was trying to get exempted from it like basically saying I don't want to do it uh, for religious reasons, which probably means he's a little skeptical, a little nervous about the vaccine, which again, not good or bad. Um, he he just doesn't want to get it. And in the state of California, this is not an NBA rule. In the state of California, they are making you get the vaccine uh, if you want to return to work. I don't remember the exact rule. It's like maybe if you're over the age of like 12 or something, you are required to get it, something like that. And so every single warrior has it except for Andrew Wiggins, who was the only warrior to not get it. And then uh, he's considered not even just not playing in home games like games in California, uh, which that would be crazy. Imagine if Andrew Wiggins just didn't play half the games because or even actually more than half the games because half of your games are home ga home games. And then also there's the Kings that you play couple times a year like three or four two three four times a year the lakers you play two three four times a year the clippers you play two three four times a year that's a majority of the games andrew wiggins would have to sit out if he doesn't get the vaccine and he's not allowed to really do anything with the warriors until he does so as of now andrew wiggins can't play for the warriors can't do anything for the warriors and he can't until he gets that second dose which i don't know exactly how long that takes um i think it's like two weeks something like that i don't i don't totally know but he's got like, he's, he, he sh if he's going to get it, he should probably get it now so he can get it over with, get it done quickly. But the NBA looked over his appeal, trying to say that he has religious reasons and that's why he does not, uh, he would not be getting the vaccine. That did not, and en that ended up not working. And uh, yeah, he, I don't know what he's going to do from here. There's been a lot going on with him. Um, and it really sounds like it is a possibility. He just does not play. Like, he just doesn't play for the Warriors, which is insane, or at least California games, which is just insane. Like, I, I don't know. At that point, I feel like um, you just, you maybe just get it because it's like, okay, well, people have had it for a long enough time that maybe you're more comfortable with it being like, okay, maybe the effects, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, but... If I'm Andrew Wiggins, I'm probably just getting it because you're getting paid millions of dollars to play. And that's like one of the things they're asking you to do. But then at the same time, like, why would he, why should he have to get it? I see that side of it too. Uh, he just, he doesn't want to get it. And what's, what's wrong with that? Like he does not want to get it. And that should be his decision potentially, but also the NBA does pay him. And so uh, they can say, well, that's part of your contract, which it wasn't when he got the contract. So I could see both sides of it for sure. Uh, I know there's also like John Stockton, who obviously isn't a player anymore, but people are giving him hate for being an anti-vaxxer. But remember, he's he's from uh, he's from a Republican family, obviously. And I don't really know Andrew Wiggins' background and where he's from. I'm not quite too sure, but Andrew Wiggins definitely... Uh, He's definitely got a decision to make. Does he just not play in California? Does he try to figure out something else, like another like religious reasons uh, appeal or what? Because do you think they would even make an exception for Andrew Wiggins or not? Because I think it's like 90% of the NBA is vaccinated or something like that. And we know LeBron wasn't for a while. I believe he is now after getting some backlash. I believe LeBron is now um, 
LeBron's obviously a very smart guy and can seem can pr probably was pretty skeptical about it, but I believe LeBron got it now, and uh, they're a California team too, so the, all of the Lakers are going to have to get it, and I believe all the Lakers have it now, or they're all like on the road to it, like maybe someone doesn't have their second uh, dose or whatever, and the Clippers, all of the Clippers are going to have to get it, all the Kings are going to have to get it, and then I'm sure there's other teams that are going to require their players to get it too, or all the Warriors as well, like I said. So uh, I think Andrew Wiggins is the final warrior that doesn't have it. He doesn't even have his first dose. So I don't know how long that'll exactly take, but it should be a, a while. Like training camp would probably already be starting, maybe even preseason by the time he was all ready to go, which that's a good while uh, away. That's like a couple weeks away. I think that if he's gonna, if he's gonna like give in eventually, he might as well just do it now. And if not, then hey, maybe you get traded to an Eastern Conference team like, um, I don't know, Chicago Bulls, first Eastern Conference team that popped in my head, get traded to a team like the Chicago Bulls because they're not going to play uh, California teams as much as someone in the Western Conference. They'll probably play, what, like six to eight games, uh, max, eight, max eight games a year against California teams, East Eastern Conference teams will. So, you might look to do something like that, but then that kind of sucks for the Warriors because then they have to, they're going to have to sell low on him because, well, if he, we don't know if he's going to play for our team, blah, 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 blah. I don't know. Uh, I think it's kind of interesting how California is controlling this, and I think Washington is doing it as well um, pretty soon, but there are no Washington teams. Rest in peace, Seattle Supersonics. So let me know what you guys think. Do you think that Andrew Wiggins should just give in? Um, if the Okay, I got to put this out there. If there are any, like, arguing in the comment section about this uh i will be deleting the comments whatever i don't want anyone saying their opinion really um about whether you think you should get that everyone should get the vaccine or everyone shouldn't i don't think that should be down in the comments section below i think you should put down whether you think andrew wiggins it's in his best interest to get it or if it's not in his best interest no debating about this, this is not what this video is about just talk about andrew wiggins in specific not about people in general people make your own decisions and i'm not saying whether it's good or bad but yeah guys thank you so much for watching don't forget to leave a like subscribe and turn notification bells to all i will see you guys all later in the next video thank you so much see you guys in the comments be nice remember peace out bye